Hello everyone, and welcome to this episode of This is Islam. I'm Kai, and in today's episode, we look at the Jerusalem Qibla, namely the time when Muhammad tried to convince the Jews that he was a prophet by telling Muslims to pray towards Jerusalem. There are several hadiths that mention Muslims praying towards Jerusalem. The list provided on this slide is just a small sampling. For example, consider the following hadith from the above list. Quote, We prayed with God's messenger towards Jerusalem for 16 months, then we were commanded to change direction towards the Kaaba. End quote. Imam Nawawi gives us his commentary to these hadiths. Quote, Scholars of our Shafi'i school and others differ as to whether facing Jerusalem in prayer is confirmed in the Qur'an or it was on the basis of the Prophet's own discretion. In his book Al-Hawi, Al-Mawardi mentions two views expressed by our scholars. Qadi Iyad said that the majority of scholars say that it was a question of Sunnah, not based on the Qur'an. On this basis, it serves as evidence in support of the view that the Qur'an may abrogate a Sunnah. This is the view of the majority of later scholars of legal theory, and it is one of two views expressed by al-Shafi'i. His other view, which is shared by a good number of scholars, is that it is not possible because the Sunnah explains the Qur'an. How would it then abrogate it? These scholars maintain that facing Jerusalem in prayer was based on revelation by God, who says in the Qur'an, quote, we appointed the direction of prayer which you formerly followed in order that we might distinguish those who follow the messenger from those who turn on their heels. Surah 2, verse 143. They also differ with regard to the opposite case of the Qur'an being abrogated by the Sunnah. The majority say that it is possible, but the Shafi'i and a number of scholars preclude such a possibility. End quote. So what do we learn from Imam Nawawi? Well, we learn that Muslim scholars disagree as to whether or not the command to specifically face Jerusalem during prayer is explicitly mentioned in the Qur'an. The majority of early Muslim scholars were of the opinion that to face Jerusalem was Sunnah. In Arabic, Imam Nawawi refers to Muhammad's quote-unquote ijtihad, or discretion, with regards to the Jerusalem Qibla, thereby precluding any kind of direct personal divine influence, meaning that Muhammad was trying to impress the Jews so they would accept him as a prophet. Then, seeing as how the Jews rejected him, Muhammad then changed the direction of prayer to Mecca and made up an excuse that praying towards Jerusalem was a test for Muslims. And, the majority of early Muslim scholars were of the opinion that the Sunnah can abrogate the Qur'an, i.e., something that Muhammad did could abrogate what Allah revealed. But let's put things into perspective, since Islam is supposed to be the final religion revealed by God to all of mankind. Muslim scholars invented an elaborate and extravagant quote-unquote science to authenticate hadiths but they cannot even conclusively ascertain something as fundamental as to whether praying towards Jerusalem came from Allah or Muhammad, or if the Jerusalem Qibla is even confirmed in the Qur'an. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Next time on This is Islam, I will discuss Fay Budi, namely those things that Muslims appropriate unto themselves peacefully during jihad. For example, that the wife of a convert to Islam is lawful for Muslims to take. Stay tuned.